In November 2022, OpenAI launched ChatGBT, which completely changed the idea of how people interact with artificial intelligence. Since then, ChatGPT has consistently dominated the global market. By September 2024, less than two years after its release, ChatGPT made another milestone. It became the eighth most viewed website globally, and this explosive growth is nowhere near slowing down. From assisting you with your assignments, to data analysis, to even content creation, ChatGPT continues to expand its influence with over 200 million weekly additions. It's evolved to such an extent that at this point, we can even build AWS cloud projects using ChatGPT. How? Let me show you. Hey, ChatGPT. Hi there. What can I do for you today? Can you help me build an application in AWS? That's fantastic. What kind of application are you thinking about building? I'm thinking about building a newsletter application. Awesome. Are you thinking of using specific AWS services for your newsletter app? But before we continue with this, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Intellipats' YouTube channel to never miss out on any updates from us. In this video, we'll be creating a simple newsletter application completely with the help of ChatGPT. Now, a newsletter application allows its users to subscribe to a website, blog, or an article by entering their email IDs or other credentials. Along the way, you'll learn which errors to point out, how to point out the errors, and how to fix them, all with the help of ChatGPT. So, let's get started. So I have ChatGPT open here on my screen and now we need to input our prompt into ChatGPT. And as for the prompt, I have written it down in my GitHub account and the link to my GitHub account will be provided in the description down below. So make sure to check that out if you want to use this exact prompt. Um, I'm just going to copy it and I'm just going to paste it here. Now this prompt I've generated after a lot of trial and error because ChatGPT would, you know, give a new response every single time and a new error with it every single time. So based on that, after a, maybe two or three trial or error, I've got this prompt for this project. And for whatever projects that you may be making using ChatGPT, there is a 80% chance that ChatGPT will not give you the correct answer the first time. So you might have to tweak your prompt a couple of times so that you can arrive at the final prompt which would generate the project that you want. Even with this prompt, I'm sure we'll have to change a lot of things in between, which we'll see along the way. So as for now, let's just go with this prompt. Okay, so what does ChatGPT has to say? So for this project, I am particularly planning to use four services, that is AWS IAM, SNS, API Gateway, and Lambda. So um, I've integrated all four of them here itself. I've mentioned specifically that I need Lambda, API Gateway, IAM, and SNS. We could have went with other app uh, services as well, or you could even have used SES instead of SNS, but I have, like I've said, I've done a lot of trial and error. So after coming to the conclusion, this is what I found the best, you know, this is the best working application that I could find, which are GPT. So that's why I'm using these for services. But according to your needs and your preferences, you're free to change any of the services. You're free to add more services if you want to. You're free to reduce this. But I don't think you can reduce it anymore. But this is like the minimum services, amount of services that you need. But but at the end of the day, ultimately, it's up to you. It's your project. So you're free to uh, tweak your uh, prompt according to your preferences. Okay. So SNS, Lambda, where is I am? SNS, I am, Lambda there's some code and there's an API gateway. Okay, we have HTML as well. All right, so the proper code is provided. Now let's implement this. So to start with, we have SNS. We need to create an SNS topic. Oh, I have to search for it, okay. Simple notification service or SNS. What do I need to do? AWS SNS, create a new topic. It should be standard, okay. Do they provide, oh, they did provide a name, newsletter subscription. I'm really lazy to come up with names, so this really helps. Topics, create topic, create a new topic, type standard. Okay, standard, topic name. I've created that before, but it's okay. The display name as well. Okay. Your, you can create subscriptions. Okay, I suppose we need to create subscription. And ChatGPT has not mentioned it this time. See, I told you, this is a problem with ChatGPT. It gives a different response every single time. So um, 
I'll tell you what to do here. You need to create a subscription as well. Uh, the protocol will be email. The end point will be the email ID. So the email ID that you'll be using here, uh, what this SNS is going to do is it's just going to send a confirmation email to this particular email ID. So let's just go with that, create subscription. And this pending, okay, pending confirmation because now you have to go to your Gmail account and confirm the subscription. Okay, there it is. Confirm subscription. And it's successful. If I reload this now, it should show confirmed. Huh? Yeah, it's confirmed. That's it. Uh, now the next thing that we need to do is I am role. Okay, I am role. Let's go do that. I am roles, right? So roles here it is. Create role. What is this? Trusted entity AWS service use case lambda. Trusted entity use case lambda. Okay, next. Permissions. Amazon SNS. Okay, let's hope this is the only permission we need. Okay, come on. Okay, yeah, that's it. SNS. Next. Okay, there's a name. Lambda SNS role and save it. Okay. Lambda SNS role and save it. It's creating, but fine. All right, we have the role created. Now what? Okay, now create a Lambda function. Okay, now I need a Lambda function. This is our third service. I'm very sure that it will still have a bunch of errors, but fine, let's go with it. Create function, right? Author from scratch, name is newsletter subscription function, okay. Uh, newsletter function, it is Python. I specifically mentioned for Python because Node.js was throwing a lot of errors. Uh, okay, we need to role is select Lambda SNS role, okay. Role, if you're building an application completely using ChatGPT, you need to do trial and errors. You need to keep on debugging your application until you reach the final conclusion. And even still, I'm pretty sure there will be bugs. So what ChatGPT is asking you to do is use an existing role and choose your uh, Lambda SNS role. Create function. Okay, now I suppose we need to copy paste this code and replace with what? My topic ARN, okay. Topic ARN is this thing. In the SNS, this, this is your topic ARN. Um, okay. All right, so let's control A, control V. Uh, topic ARN, we need to change. Why does this look very small and this topic ARN is so big? I'm pretty sure there's something wrong. <laughs> okay, um, let's deploy it. Mm, okay, create an API gateway, fine. Let's go create an API gateway now. API gateway. What am I supposed to do here? Okay, let's not use HTTP because that uh, is a mess. Can you use REST API instead of HTTP API? See, that's what I told you. You have to keep on tweaking it. REST API. I prefer working with REST API more. So, uh, select the new API and there's a name, okay. Select the new API, API name, no description, create API. Next, actions create resource. Resource name, subscribe. Okay, we need to create a resource. Create resource. Path name, subscribe. We need to enable course because we're hosting it locally. Anyways, it's better to just enable course. Okay, next. We need to configure the post method, action create method, post, what is this? We need to create a post method, okay. Create method, post method, 
lambda is there right okay that's it now what enable course we have already done okay enable course subscribe or something okay post options content time got it uh this is very important so please pay attention uh we need to enable course for both of these else it will throw an error again based on experience i'm telling you this will throw an error so you need to do this options post we only need content type i'll just copy that save i copied it because i'll have to use it again for uh, the post method as well same we need to enable course for both of them so options post i'm too lazy to hit backspace again so that's why okay so we have them both now what deploy the api new stage is prod okay deploy the api new stage what was it prod right now oh. okay prod deploy that's short form for production prod note the invoke url invoke url got it okay now what update the lambda why would i do that the lambda function includes the logic it works seamlessly okay i don't need to update why did i okay oh we don't have the okay we'll uh, test that later html page we'll do later let's just see if our uh, aws is working or not so for that you need to open postman okay i need to ask for that also can you uh, tell me how to check this uh, api this one on postman to test your api open postman that's already installed and everything enter your api and i need to what append the okay fine key um okay content type application slash json all right where are you open we'll check that later where is my that subscribe post method headers uh content type application json next i have to since it's a post request i need to provide some body so it's this one i'll replace it with my own um, uh, email which i can find here okay that's it okay now let's see if this works nope it's not working all right now let's we just put it here um all right mhm mm now i'll just now it's saying that there's something wrong in the sns topic in lambda function okay so let me just copy paste my whole lambda function here here's my lambda function okay now tell me what's wrong in the incorrect sns topic okay okay can you give the whole code whole fixed code why oh, i forgot to add a question mark okay now mate all right all right keep uh, okay that's it that's it that's it yeah let's copy that paste it here yeah deploy it okay now let's see if it is working or not so it works and uh, now we need to take the html code so i'm going to create a file aws uh html file let me open that cmd code dot and we have a file here i believe where is it all right vs code wait for a minute let me just find the code 
that's the HTML. Okay. We need an index dot HTML file. Okay, now we need to make changes here as well. This link would be this one. We are fetching replace with our API. Fine. Anything else? Nothing, right? Okay, now let's put this to test. Okay, email. Subscription successful. Okay, now let me tell you what kind of errors could have came here. The first one is course error. Now that's because we fixed it already. That's why course error didn't come. And if there's a course error, you can see it here in the inspect tab, control shift I, and you'll have this tab. Uh, in this tab, you will be able to see if uh, any course error is coming. Additionally, if nothing is working for you, the best thing, any project you're trying to create in uh, AWS, and if it's not going according to plan, the best thing you can do is uh, go into AWS, navigate to CloudWatch, Amazon CloudWatch. Now, the thing with CloudWatch is it automatically documents whatever you are messing around with AWS, it automatically documents it. So, uh, go into log groups, And here is our newsletter that we just created. So it has logged everything. It has documented everything. So what you need to do is go into these log streams and uh, let that come. Okay, that's it. So select the uh, logs, copy it and paste it here on ChatGPT. And like you don't even have to put any prompt, you just have to put the whole code inside and ChatGPT will, if there is any particular error, if there is any potential error, ChatGPT will resolve that for you. And um, that was it, but make sure to delete everything. So let's just first delete. Uh, go back to API Gateway, APIs. Let's just delete that. Confirm. Then we have uh, Lambda. Let's delete that too. Then we have subscription. Our topic. Delete. Delete me. And then we have a role. Let's delete that too. Okay. I believe we have deleted everything. Yeah, that's gone. This is gone and that's gone too. And with that, we reach the end of this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.